Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Right? Beautiful song. You know, and just picture Jesus hugging the kids. God loves the children, yes. And God loves me. He loves me unconditionally. And I know I'm not here just to take up space and to breathe air. And I'm not just a number. He chose me. He knew me before I was even born for a purpose. And that excites me. And I want to do what his will is for me for his glory. That's what we form Team Love God for. Each person we meet is Jesus in disguise. What do you think about that, I? I think that if we see each person as Jesus in disguise, we will be more respectful of each other, right? So, and in our time right now, we live in a time where hate and judgment seem to be freely thrown around the news, social media, comment sections, and public dialogue. And it is always easy to react and add noise. But in Peter chapter 2, verse 17, um, he reminds us that we should show proper respect to everyone. Love the family of believers, fear God, and honor the emperor. So, really, if really we should just treat each other with respect and kindness and let God's love humble us and teach us that this that it is not our virtue that pulls us to God, but rather his kindness. Yeah, and that's so beautiful. And if we had all that love here on this earth, we'd have heaven on earth. Because when we get to heaven, it's all going to be about love. So why, why? let's practice it here, because that's what we're going to spend eternity doing. That makes sense to me. Well, well said, sister. Ate is sister in Philippine language. You know, and peace does begin with a smile. That's why we have the Smile, Breathe, Love meditation. That's why we proclaim that Smile, Breathe, Love is going to change the world. And Mother Teresa says, I'll never understand all the good that a simple smile can accomplish. And it does. It starts with a smile. I used to believe that prayer changes things. But now I know that prayer changes us. All right, only Jesus can change us, our hearts. And then we change things. What do you think about that, Kai? All right. Okay. So, well, um, you know, for for me, I just remember times when I was begging God to, to answer my prayer. And a lot of times, His answer is different from... <laughs> what I wanted or what I've been praying for. But actually, his answers are always way better than what I have been asking from him. And indeed, his ways are better than ours. So as I grow um, in my relationship with God, as I get to know him more, my prayers also changes. Instead of praying to God to take me away from a difficult situation, now I ask God to instead give me strength as I go through my situation. So our prayer makes us more dependent to God and it makes us humble to always surrender everything to Him. And that's why, you know, prayer does not change things. It actually changes us to be more dependent, to seek God more. And it, as a result, we'll get to um, experience more the love of God and even you know God um, will be able to reveal more of himself of his character to us through our prayer 